Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Psalm 47 is a triumphal hymn that expresses praise and worship to God as the Sovereign King of all the earth. Composed by an anonymous author, this inspired poetry is a true celebration of divine majesty and power, inviting all nations and peoples to unite in jubilant acclamation. The introduction of this psalm transports us to a grand scenario, where the children of palms and voices of joy echo through the four corners of the earth. It is as if all of humanity gathered in one voice to exalt the Lord Most High, recognizing His tremendous greatness and acknowledging Him as the great King over all creation. The sacred poet fervently describes how God subdues peoples and nations, placing them under His sovereignty. It is evident that He chose a people as His inheritance, enhancing the glory of Jacob, to whom He showed His matchless love. It is with this acceptance that the psalm begins, highlighting divine intervention in history and human affairs. As the composition progresses, we are transported to a moment of great exaltation, as if we were witnessing the ascension of God Himself. At the sound of trumpets, He ascends triumphant, filling the hearts of worshippers with an indescribable feeling of gratitude and praise. The invitation is clear, to sing songs of glory to God, revering Him as Supreme King. Psalm 47 invites intelligent consideration as it recognizes that God reigns over all nations, ruling with wisdom and power. His majesty is unquestioned, and His throne is firmly established. The image is powerful, and the rulers of the peoples are called to come together as one people, united in worship of the God of Abraham. This powerful introduction prepares readers' hearts for the grandeur of Psalm 47, urging us to join in this symphony of universal praise. As we progress in the reading, we are reminded that God is the shield of the earth, being exalted above all and all. May we then reach out to Him with reverence and gratitude, for Psalm 47 is an invitation to worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the God who reigns eternally with power and glory beyond compare. Let's pray Psalm 47 and then our Father Amen. Clap your hands, all peoples. Acclaim God with a voice of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome. Is the great King over all the earth. He subdued us peoples. And nations under our feet. Chose our inheritance for us. The glory of Jacob, whom he loved. God ascended with joy. The Lord ascended with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with intelligence. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples gather. As the people of the God of Abraham. For to God belong the shields of the earth. He is highly exalted. Just as you sent an angel to protect Daniel in the lion's den, I ask that you come to the rescue of each one of our lives. Give them your help, Father, make their dream of owning their own home come true, grant them a worthy job and remove them from the hospital bed, in the name of Jesus. My Father, abundantly blessed all your children, take care of their health, heal their wounds and visit every home with your loving presence. Send your angels to protect them and guide their steps, O Lord. May in every situation you be exalted and glorified, and may they find comfort, hope. With gratitude and praise, I cry out, Hallelujah. Glory to God. For I know that you are faithful and hear our prayers. Therefore, I trust in your infinite mercy and love. Bless each of your children, meet their needs and grant them your grace. For all this, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I ask you, my Father, Amen. Thank God. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. As we finish reading Psalm 47, we are enveloped in a deep sense of reverence and affection for Almighty God. This triumphal hymn leads us to contemplate the divine majesty, recognizing that the Lord is worthy of all praise and honor. Thus, it remains in our hearts the certainty that God rules over all nations, establishing His throne with justice and wisdom. His authority transcends human boundaries and His grace reaches the ends of the earth. In this call to intelligence, it follows that true greatness does not lie in human power, but in submission to God, the King of all creation. Before His glory, we are invited to unite our voices in praise and gratitude, singing songs that exalt His name. So let this psalm echo in our hearts, inspiring us to proclaim the greatness of the Lord in all circumstances of life. May our actions and words reflect the regard due to Him, so that, as princes and children of the Most High God, we need His light and love for all peoples. May every nation and every individual recognize the majesty of God, surrendering before His magnificent presence. And so, may the echo of this psalm resonate eternally, as a constant invitation to patience, humility and fear of the Supreme King who reigns over everything and everyone. In gratitude and reverence, we sing our praise, for the Lord is worthy of all honor and glory. Amen.